Hey everybody, it's Carrie, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian from the Rapid City Public Library. And today we have the very first of our fall series of teen crafter noons. And today we are going to be making a small TARDIS bag. So if you're a Doctor Who fan, this one is just for you. Let's take a look and see what you got in your bags. This time, as usual, we've got a set of directions. This is a large rectangle of blue felt. I just have it folded in half. You should have some white felt, some black felt, a police box sign. We've got two small pieces of Velcro here. They have that shine because there's some adhesive on them. Um, a square pattern, a rectangle pattern, Q-tips, fabric glue, and then the things that I'm going to use are a pair of scissors and I just have a small ruler here. So let's get started. And the first thing we're going to do is get our felt down to the right size. And basically we're going to do that by cutting a rectangle off of the end. And we're going to measure in about three inches. And I think the easiest way to do this is to fold this over at that three inch spot. And then that's going to give you that line that you can cut on. Then, using our pattern pieces, I know that I need six squares. So one, two, three. The easiest way to do that is just to go ahead and fold it. It's fabric, so it's easily foldable. And then I can just cut And I know that I want three from each of these rectangles. So there's one, doors, there's two, and that one is just a little bit longer than I need it. So I'm going to cut off the excess and I'm going to, I'm going to bet that that excess is going to be pretty close to what I need with my smaller rectangle there, so that worked out well. I know that on our directions, it tells us two squares out of white, and then the final thing it tells us is to use either, use that black felt, and we're going to do four rectangles that are this, and two that are just a little bit longer. And what I was thinking is, since we actually have this leftover felt, you could do them out of the blue as well if you don't want black. Um, and I think actually I am going to do that for mine. So although the directions say these rectangles should be out of black, I think you're just fine if you do them out of blue and it's kind of, you know, your choice. We're going to need two that are going to be just a little bit longer. And mostly we're going to trim these down, but I just want to make sure that they definitely go all the way across our white squares, which is what we're going to cut next. We're going to bring back the square piece and I know I need So here is one and here is two. Then it says we are going to lay out our bag. So this is basically what our bag is going to be. This is the shape. I will uh, grab my phone real quick so you guys can see that it should fit most size phones. Um, it'll also fit wallets. I don't think it'll hold a book, but it might hold a notepad. And as you all know, the TARDIS on the top you know, has a light, oh, which I actually, I forgot to cut that out. So with the leftovers of your white felt, we're gonna do one last little, 
it's kind of a half circle. And you know, those will go up here on the top and then we can cut a little bit down from that and then it's going to go out in a square and out in a square again to make that TARDIS shape that we all know and love. But the first thing we want to do is make sure that we've got our door correct. So TARDIS doors. And once you lay these on here, it'll become real apparent if your cutting was off because they won't be square shaped and it will look different. Then we know we want these windows. Woo. Felt the sticking to me more than the sticking to itself. Straighten off that just a little more. I can already tell that's not as square as I want. And this is where these tiny rectangles come in because we got to make windows. I really like how the dark blue felt just kind of disappears into itself. And then for the slightly longer ones, I just really wanted to make sure that they would definitely go all the way across. So you can trim those down after you get them placed. Because there's a little bit coming off the ends there. And then we know that our police box sign goes on top of it. And then we know these guys are going to go up on the top. So that's going to give us our general how we want it to look. And I know that I have about this much space. I could just do. So I think what I'll do is I'll cut in a little bit and then I'm going to cut in that same amount on the other side. And then I'm going to cut up and I'm going to cut up. Where do I want that to go? Right there. And then in a slightly upward And I'm going to leave a, a bit of the blue to glue that white onto, just because it makes it a little bit sturdier. So there's my little bit of... That's where the white light will get glued. And then that is my slowly sloping down. Now, finish trimming off these windows. We get to get busy with the gluing portion. And I gave three Q-tips because we're probably going to use all of them. There's a lot of gluing. And I think the easiest way to start is to glue all the things on and then I'm going to do the edges. So I'm going to start with these bottom two. just like we always do. Get a lot of that on there. Take it to the corners as much as you can. And start gluing all those pieces down. And for the windows, I'm going to do the across pieces first. And then I'll go ahead and glue the whole window down. I just think that might be a little bit easier. And as usual, if you get glue all over yourself like I do, it should come off with a little bit of soap and water. And 
now that I've got all of that on there, I can go ahead and pull up the corners back here in the middle. And get that glued right where I want it. I have all of my pieces glued on here. And I'm going to have my bag open from the top. So I'm going to glue all the way down this side and all the way across. So we'll just open it up. And actually, there we go. I know that this is about where my phone is, so that is where I'm going to need my glue to go. I'm not going to glue all the way up to the top because my Velcro pieces are going to need a place to go. I know that bottom seam needs to be real good. I don't want anything falling out where I don't want it to. Okay. Add a little more up here. And then I'm going to carefully get my scraps out of the way. <laughs> Close this. You'll have, it won't glue, I mean, immediately, so you'll have some time to make sure that everything lines up the way that you want it to. I'm a big fan of flip it over, make sure that's still lining up the way you want it to, and then I'm going to press right on those seams. And I don't want you to worry if it looks white for a second because this glue will dry and it won't, it won't show up. And then the final, the final bits are going to be figuring out how to close that. And like I said, we've got two Velcro pieces. What you're going to do is remove the adhesive back of your Velcro pieces. And then you can stick them right on there. Okay. Close it up. Press those down there pretty good. And there we go. Thank you for following along our TARDIS bag crafter noon. If you're wondering what else is going on at uh, Rapid City Public Library for Teens, I will direct you to our Instagram page, at rcplteens. And on there, you'll see a little bit of what we're doing, what we're excited about. We also have two IGTV series. One of them has been going through the summer and it is a way to help you pick books that you might not have known about or might be interested in but didn't know which books were in that category. It's called What to Read and we're starting a new one in the fall that's called I Did a Thing and it's going to be snacks and ways to get rid of stress and anxiety and a couple other silly little funny things all very short. So thanks for following along. Hope to see you soon. Bye.